we go, Jay. On to the big guns. We've got Ben Eddy, 10th Planet Black Belt, up against Grappling Legend and MMA Legend Imanari. Do you think we'll see one? Oh, uh, ben Eddy, no one chance to get in the road. We didn't give him the road. Ben <laughs> wasn't getting in there. Yeah, Still I mean. On that leg straight away. The true legend of combat sports, the Ashikan Judan, which I think is 10th down of leg locks. He's in on an entry early as well. Ben's very hard to submit from the legs, though. Yeah. Oh, he's twisting that foot like a reverse toe hold. Yeah, that was nasty. Ben's a bendy guy as well, though. But yeah, crazy style of his own, completely different, but a uh, real unique style. He's got his own, um, you know, pioneered, pioneered his own stuff in his own way, yeah, Ben Eddie, as well. Fantastic rubber guard. The Hindu team. Week. Yeah, the Hindu teams are unbelievable. I've got stuck in it a couple of times this week. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. Um, but he's in Imanari's world at the moment. So it's going to be interesting how this one plays out. If he can get himself out, Imanari's trying to drag him in for that entry. Ben's just trying to keep himself safe. Not open his legs up and let him split them apart. He's done well there. Yeah, like, you know, no gi, submission grappling, submission only. has come a long way in the last few years, but yeah. Imanari's was he looking people 15 years ago yeah. when everybody else was so rudimentary and uh, he really did pave the way and pioneer, pioneer it in especially mixed martial arts yeah, he was literally the guy I, I first studied for you know for leg locks 12 13 years ago you know I was watching him I remember him snapping Mike Brown's leg in half in yep. Japan yeah one of the grimmest things I've ever seen <laughs> looking for the toe hold looking for that toe hold I think it'd be hard to finish Ben with a toe hold he is super flexible. Not often he's too often he's forced to fight from the top. And he's doing well stuff in these leg lock attempts. Yeah. So far. Well Ben's got a very good game, let's you know. He, he's probably on under, an underdog on a lot of people's cards, but trust me, Ben is a very, very good grappler. Um, so it's, it's going to be an interesting matchup. I like the clash of styles when we're putting it together. You know the complete difference. Yeah, and it's like you know, an old school legendary grappler versus uh, one of the new guys coming through. Yeah. Ben really started making his name for himself. He is. He's 30 now, but uh, he's one of those guys. He's so fit and healthy. I think he'll be around for a long time. So 15 minute match. This one, two and a half minutes down. So still 12 and a half minutes to play. Imanari trying to get in there in these entries but Ben's doing a good job but Ben's not a, he's not doing the thing of running away and backing away he's staying in the pocket isn't he trying to get his passing going controlling the legs himself seeing if he can pass Imanari's in but Ben's cleared the knee straight away yeah very savvy to that disengaged his knee as soon as uh, Imanari jumped in there looking to collect his own to a hold potentially yeah we have seen him in our chat for the leg locks haven't we Gary Tone I remember catching him yeah I mean gone are the days where he's invincible as a leg lock of the whole uh, game yeah, itself it's changed, it, it's it? changed yeah it's evolved completely it's become its own sort of style now isn't it The fact that he's still going at his age, having had so many MMA fights over yeah. the years against some of the best guys in the world consistently. He's in his 40s now, still training. I mean, it was only a well, it was his last fight, it wasn't too long ago, was it? Yeah, he's fought him one couple of times over yeah. the last year. A couple of years, isn't it? Yeah. He um, inverted heel, uh, a South Korean prospect a couple yeah, of fights ago. Yeah, I remember that now, actually, when he said it, yeah. I think he may have lost his last one on points, but. Yeah, still competing at a good level against uh, against high-level guys. Great to have him on the show. Great to have him in the UK. Like I say, he's a legend. A lot of people are excited to watch this match. Ben didn't hesitate when we offered him the uh, when we offered him this match. He jumped right on it. Uh, he was over doing a camp in Ireland, 10th Planet camp, and um, you know extended his stay. He was straight in there. Did it like an immediate yes from him. So that's the sort of guys we like to deal with. And he's making a good showing a good account of himself. His defense has been absolutely top notch. Yeah. Now he's trying to get his passing going. And stylistically, when you're looking at the card, it was always going to be one of the more intriguing ones to see how it played out between 
two contrasting guys. Yeah, definitely. Real, you know, he's known for his guard work, and obviously, um, Imanari plays open guard all the time. Good thing about Uminari is he, you know, he, he'll go into anything with reckless abandon just to give himself half a chance. He will, he'll start letting people just pass his guard, whatever, look for something hopefully crazy here. <laughs> do some flying stuff, hopefully, we'll see. Ben's got a bit of support in the crowd though, as well, hasn't he? The sounds of it. A good guy. We've had him in the gym for a few days this week. He's been really cool, showing us some stuff. Yeah, had a good match with uh, Ash Williams, didn't he? The first time it was. Yeah, it was a show. shame. It, it got cut short because Ash was carrying out of an injury, so they only did seven minutes, and it, it was only just getting going. I feel, um, and time ran out, unfortunately. I'd like to see that one played back as well. Real good job of leg pummeling every time Imanai tries to get inside. He's trying to, you know, get in that inside space himself. Yeah, the interesting thing with uh, with Minari, obviously they have a lot of uh, sort of like the uh, shoot or catch guys over there, but he kind of really paved his own way. He got into yeah. Jiu Jitsu and stuff, and just liked the leg locks and kind of toyed with them himself until he found his own style, as opposed to. Yeah, really been taught anything. He was an innovator, wasn't he? He, you know, he did learn it. I've read a couple of interviews where he said he sort of learned himself, taught them, showed them applied, and then, you know, obviously came with his entries, obviously the Imanari roll, which we're all, uh, seen a couple of attempts tonight, seen a couple of actually been pulled off. Um, I he's mean, he's going to be a true immortal in the leg lock game, given that it's one of the more po most popular entries out there. Yeah, it's tough, tough a name moved after, you know, you, you know you're doing things right, don't you? It's also the easiest one to make yourself look like a bit of a crap, but yeah, oh if, yeah. if you pull yeah. it off, I've missed it in training amazing. a few times, just end up spinning around into the walls and stuff. But we're coming up to around the halfway point in the match. No submission attempts, really. Imanari's been the guy sort of pushing the attempts, you know, but he hasn't actually had anything locked in. Ben struggles to get his passing game off to get past his legs. Yeah, it's a so 15 minutes for the top three bouts yeah, gives these guys three. a longer time yeah. to work. Yeah. With Ben really wanting, the, you know, really known for his closed guard, and Imanari sitting back quite often like that, it's, it's quite difficult to take him into his own world, I suppose, for Ben, isn't it? So he's having a little, uh, a little pop of his own leg. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, surprised we've, we've not seen him back off at any point and maybe try and initiate his own seated guard position. He's constantly tried to attack to pass and fair play to him, showing the uh, the versatility of his game. Not afraid to take any challenge in front of him, which is Imanari. So yeah, snap like his legs. I said, he, you know, he jumped to that and he, he's quite, he seems quite happy to sit in the leg lock battle as well, doesn't he? Real intriguing match. Some proper leg spaghetti going on. Oh, Eminari could have a bite there for the first time. He's got a nice get on but I don't think he's got Ben's leg. Yeah, Ben's got his leg on the inside, doesn't he? He's okay. He's going to triangle off and see if he can uh, try and get something going, maybe. Yeah, maybe see if he can rinse that foot out. See if he can peel it through. Goes deeper into that saddle position. He's got the heel, but well, Ben's yeah, Ben was aware of it and decided to bail. A little bit deeper now. Ben's got that other leg yeah. in again. It's allowing him to clear that knee line. Yeah, he's disengaging before there's any real threat. Managing to shoot his knees back through. So we're in the last, coming up to the last third, around five minutes left. Last quarter. Last third. 
<laughs> oh yeah, they were used to be 20. I even said that. Tw myself. 20 minutes for the belt fight it is. Ah. It's a title fight, 15 minutes for the sort of main cars and 10 minutes for everyone else in the cars we do. Stand corrected. Pushing away Sim. Kind of battle of um, Ben trying to. Oh, there it goes. Oh, goes the that, cartwheel I pass. I think this is Ben's thing. I think he needs to try and open up and you know, change the game plan a little. Last five. See what he can do. He yeah. obviously wants him and in his guard, but I, I think it's going to be so difficult for him to get him in his guard. He's going to sit back for his own there. Yeah, he's sitting that himself, isn't he? Trying to get in the shootout. Yeah. And now he's completely unfazed. He's almost got. Single leg X, but no, Imanari pulls back through. You see Ben really yeah, doing a good job of keeping his keeping knees, shins in really yeah, tight. Closing his ankles off. Imanari looking for the Oma Plata, which has also been a good move for him. The, yeah, uh, he's had a, he's had a the, the cross of face, cripple cross face. Yeah, he's had a couple of wins off that himself, hasn't he? Yeah, it's one of the more memorable ones, hit the Oma Plata and then... Uh, the rear naked choke slash neck crank off the back of that. Was that Dream or Pride, was it? Or? I think it was a shooter one. Shooter, was it, yeah. yeah. In between one of his uh, Dream and Pride matches. He stayed so active, he's had so yeah, many fights. Yeah, I was, I was actually, my mind was wandering a little bit then, thinking about, you know, where he's been at those shows in Japan. Always, they were always my favourite, sort of, you know, a, a long time ago. I was always a bigger Pride fan than UFC, and he was always one of my favourites. And he's uh, trying to drag the arm in, isn't he? Trying to drag the heel. Trying to make things happen, but Ben's defence has been rock solid. Wrecking Gene Silver at Cage Rage. Oh, yeah, man, I watched that one live. It when it used to be on Sky Sports, wasn't it? I remember watching it. Yeah. That was another grim one. Yeah. There's probably not one person responsible for more diminished knees than this guy. <laughs> So just under three minutes. It's been a real intriguing battle, but Ben just hasn't been able to get past the guard. And Imanari has only played seat to guard. Really stood up a couple of times, but then he sat straight back down. Ben's engaged all the time. But in that leg lock battle, was obviously Imanari's got probably a little bit more experience. Ben's defense has been superb, but it's going to be um, with no real definitive attacks. It's going to be interesting to see what the judges say if it does go that far. But we've got just over two minutes left. Make something happen. Oh, Ben's sort of sitting back on something himself. He's got. He's got on the inside position. It's like a, a weird saddle he's got, yeah. isn't it? Sort of on the outside here, look, he's working on the. I'm not sure where the no, knee is. I right can't see it. I think he's over the top of it, so he has got a chance on that heel coming the outside. So his left leg was over the knee, but. Yeah. Eminari wasn't too phased. You can imagine some of the battles in the gym when uh, there used to be Eminari and Aoki rolling <laughs> on a daily basis. Oh, but those got vicious subs. Rolling off for a tall there, but they just hitting the barriers. They're hitting the barriers, Ben's stuck on the barriers, but he's in, and he's in on the foot. So I think that the ref doesn't want to stop it because they're actually locked in a submission. Yeah, he's tight on that straight foot lock. He's got a straight foot lock. He's going to just try, have to try and drag them backwards, I think. Ben doesn't look too sort of happy about it, but I understand the referee's plight there because that is in, in the submission. The clock stopped for them. Yeah, well, I think. Ben maybe felt like he was on something as well, but we can only see from our angle that yeah, uh, Imanari had the leg lock. Yeah. There's a minute left now. I'm now trying to get that leg now. And he's got a straight foot lock, Imanari. He's got it. He's got, he's got it. the tap. Right in the last 40 seconds, unbelievable. <laughs> you don't expect many finishes after no. 14 and a half minutes of a 15 minute match. I hope Ben's okay there. 
Look, I, I think he's one of those guys when he jumps on something like we were saying in Common Geminari, he can be vicious with it, but it, it, there's no ill intent, man. He just fin goes for the finish. Yeah, I think Ben felt like he really had to uh, to work and try and go for something as well, so he's put himself in a compromising position. He's limping a little, but he, he seems to be okay. Great match, great match. Just looking back at the, at the, uh, at the finish there. Looks like he re-pummeled underneath. Got there, he's like on a, on a footlock and he had his, it was the, uh, yeah, he'd he gone sort of rear naked choke into it, bent yeah. it right back. Like some real power when he arched his back then. Yeah, but I mean, I don't want to detract from the fact that that probably really hurt, but 